Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Dice Folk, the creature collecting dice builder in. We are going to be going with the final of the four factions. We got a whole bunch of chimeras left to try out, but it's the final faction at the very least, the pain faction. So in we go to see what we can get up to here today. I've been surprised by how different they've been from each other. The grave, what? Collect your loot from the great. There was an event actually that I I trashed this, didn't I? So it's like one of those events where you get to get it back. What the heck? All right, uh, ancient chest mausoleum. What the hell is happening? Arm cannon. Once per battle, gains twenty strength and eight intelligence for the rest of the turn. What? On activation. Target one ally, it gains an activation? What is happening here? This seems wild. Okay. So we do have to roll this. And then we activate a character. So it's once per turn. So it is one single time, I guess. Once per battle. And this can only be used once. Still seems really good. Um... I guess I'll grab the ancient chest here first, too. Activation. Grants three thorn to a random ally, including self. This equipment will break if the holder gets KO'd. Huh. Okay. Uh, a lot of wild stuff going on here already. Hold on, there was a... Um these have hurt. When hurt, inflict two bleed to a random opponent, which is when you rotate them, they take damage. Okay. All right. Interesting. So a, a faction that likes to get hit is probably the thing. Can be used twice per turn. These are all double dice? What is going on? This It seems too good to be true right now. But I'm going to assume it's maybe not. We'll go for an attack. Okay, so it does re-roll at the very least. So we at least have that one thing. Free rotation, we can put you back in the front if we want to. We can activate one. Which, hold on, What? who did I... Did I not put it on anybody? I guess I didn't put it on anybody yet because I was like, eh, who cares about these these guys in this first battle? They're nothing. No more opponent dice. They are going to attack us after that, but there. Yeah, here. All right. So let's put our let's put our stuff on these guys that I don't care about, probably. After we maybe pick a Chimera? We'll see. Picking the first one is quite useful. On attack does two damage to its allies. So, obviously, there is something to that in a very weird way. We can try and fix that. With the attacked, a uh, small chance of healing by double the amount of damage received. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. 12 damage. You also hit for crazy damage. So, that's kind of the balancing factor of it normally. On top of the fact that this does seem like a faction that likes being hurt. Let's do it. Let's go kind of wild with it. I'm going to replace this one down here. The thing is, we don't want to increase your intelligence at all. That's that's for sure. Uh, and we don't want everyone. Oh, God. Let's see, the eight, eight intelligence. <laughs> ten, whenever it attacks, do 10 damage to your allies. <laughs> is wild uh i'll put this on here for now sure i don't want to put on the curse thing because as soon as we put that on we can't take it off uh all right strength up intelligence up i'll just do that over here because again uh intelligence up on the other one is a bad thing not helpful this unlocks two paths at the same time but yeah, 13 damage at the same time. Trip. The leader will lightly hurt themselves. Oh, 
Okay. We are going to need, like, a lot of berries or some kind of ways to, obviously, like, fix the situation here. We'll rotate. Because we don't like them taking damage yet that much. Because we're going to have to get a lot of berries in order to fix that penalty. So we're going to need some really good items. <laughs> like, really good items. Abandoned tent, sure. We'll patch that up, even though we're not doing anything with it yet. I don't know if I want you guys to have... If I have uh, thorns on you, when I attack and do two damage to all allies, I don't think thorns rocks, because I think it needs to be specifically an attack. But I'll put this here because you guys are more likely to die and thus break this item. I mean, what are the odds that we get a uh, character from another faction that synergizes here? Whenever it attacks, attack the same target again once. There's nothing wrong with it. But also, there's nothing synergistic about it. Uh, and I think I'm going to need a very specifically synergistic squad. Which is a lot of S's. Oh, hello! Hello! I'm willing to I'm willing to take it for the reroll. I mean congrats. I don't think I'm gonna even get to you. Yeah, so we, they take the damage even if it's the final hit of the round. We can rip through fights, is the thing. Bonfire. It's an interesting one, too. God, this is really weird. This is really weird. Okay. The bonfire. We could go for a big healing. This is maybe one of the times where I would maybe do that. Increase a random stat of every chimera. If this goes up to three, we are in trouble. So I'm going to sew a pouch. Because ideally, we're going to get characters that are like, whenever I get attacked, there's that guy that's like, whenever I get attacked, then I will attack the, or whenever I take damage, attack the enemy leader, which that could be obviously incredible. Please be a spin, or what's the other thing on here? I don't know if we want to rotate. I mean, I'll do it for fun. We want to rotate them. You have you have the two bleed. Congrats, have some burn. If we do a clash, and then we have you guys rotate, you are going to take this extra damage. Which is quite good. Followed by a free rotate to you. Go for the attack in the front and then maybe even kill. Why Why swap to this guy? I don't know. Because I'm like big number funny. Bunch of healing all around. See, I, I can understand why they call this the pain faction for sure. Uh, there's no nothing misleading about it. They, it's exactly what it says on the tin. <laughs> okay. Give me something good. Passive. Heals received by this item's holder provide 50% more HP. On spawn, if not... If in the lead, gains 5 regen. If not, gains 3. Okay. I mean, that's... That's really good, obviously. Can't, like, sell, can we? On spawn, gain taunts. Passive. Heals... Received by the items holder, provide 50% more HP. That mixed with magic mirror uh, would be really, really good if it works. It's a 15% chance when attacked to receive double amount of the damage as healing. If we get 50% more, like suddenly we're getting into pretty good territories there. Wait, hold on. Was this chip? Did we high roll this? Is this only a. This is only four coins. That's absurd. 
That's a really good deal. I think we maybe move in for the elite at this point. I could have you in the lead, but I think I'd rather have Griffin Burr. I think I'd rather have Griffin Burr on point. Oh, you guys are new. Turn in, heal two to a random ally. No more opponent dice, inflict sleep on the opposing leader. So we really want to leave... We really want to leave one. Okay. Do a little bit of an attack. If we get the attack here, then then you die the next time. We're gonna leave this die. Go for the rotate so they can all get a little bit of damage. We get the three on the regen, which is quite helpful. Activate. Who's got the activate? You do. I'm going to do that to see. Okay, cool. Activate. we got to be very careful not to use our last eye, which we won't. Huge activation on that one. Oh, but I can't, but it was, it had to be a reckless attack. It had to be the reckless attack. All right, the random is a little bit scary. Okay. Good. We lucked out. Could have been a damage or something. All right, so you're the one with the healing. No more opponent dice inflict sleep. If we do this, it's the same deal. We are we are in a spot where I cannot attack with you without killing the Doloid. Which feels a little bit rough. Okay. So the thorns went on you. Works for me. Random taunt. Gee, I think I'm okay with it. We would have to use this trip in order to uh, do something else. We can free rotate. Again, if I go for you, then we kill our other guy. So we want to go for the slightly safer route here. Bleed does nothing when they... Oh, boy. Come on, hit me with a... Okay, we got it. We got the attack. Bleed does nothing if they can't rotate. That's kind of a problem that we have. Wyvern Buster. Passive. Damage dealt when attacking bosses is increased by 50%. Is so good. Target any Chimera on the ally side. That be it attacks the enemy leader. We'll pop that on our uh, one with duds. Alright. So we are... You know, we're in pain. We obviously have the heal all token. Which we are probably going to want to do. The question is... Do we have something else in the shop that we wanted for this cheap... There's like a heal on here. I mean, ideally getting that sweet shake would be good. Inflict an amount of burn equal to the ally leader's strength. I think let's go in. We'll probably end up using the uh, the old heal. It's just so good, you know? So the bleed has to go to the front line. No, it's a random opponent. We just got lucky slash unlucky, depending. Come on. Get the we got one bleed over there. Good, 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 good. I think a clash here is fine. My lord. Yeah, we have like a really quick kill build, but also a pretty scary one at the same time. Uh, the Dice Smith, we'll definitely check that out first. Target ally gains strength, thorns, inflict sleep, small die. It's a good one. 
without attacking, the leader does an amount of damage to all opponents. That sounds good for niche scenarios where we would like to attack with Gryffindor. We, we are not going to be going for that healing thing as a result, but I think that that's maybe fine. Uh, four bucks to get what I would consider to be a, a more guaranteed win here. Sounds pretty good to me. Who the hell are you? No more opponent dice. Inflict three confusion on the opposing leader. Uh, man, we have such a good squad for, for that, though. So, like, pretty happy. Okay, so we can fully revive you, so I think we probably play with that. We're going to take that hit here. I, again, I am willing to get you out of the way. We'll go for the full revive. So we can play around with it some more. Hoping this is kind of a rotate. Good. We have a guard. After being attacked. I don't really want a free rotate. I kind of like where we're at. I'll take the guard. Okay, energy blast is attack everybody, but don't technically attack, which is so good. Jeez, man. Uh, I'll go ahead and pop this. We're hoping for thorns, obviously, on somebody else. We could have rotated to you and done the activation attack there. Uh, but I, I honestly think we're just fine. have some un some bleed I don't know why I just wow what all right if we could find some kind of a way to like pop the bleed in a way that'd be great Oops. sound about that sound passive 12 max HP if you if you died minus one strength forever scary uh, on spawn, inflict an amount of bleed equal to half the opponent's, uh, the holder's strength every, oh my god, on every opponent. That's so good. When attacked, if the item holder had guard, it attacks the attacking chimera once. Uh, it's good, but this is just so strong because this guy has a really high base strength. That's kind of his thing. All right. We will probably have to fish for another Chimera, I'm guessing. Unless you just happen to be, like, perfect already. When an ally gets hurt, grant one strength to, an al to the ally that got hurt for the rest of battle. Okay, uh, maybe we're fine. Maybe we're actually good to go. On ally hurt, do that. So... We could do an interesting spread of damage. Uh, okay. Maybe this for now? I mean, proccing you with the activation and then getting you hit to spread 11 bleed. Like, it's good, but we're not actually doing a whole lot of damage via the bleed right now. Because they're all kind of just exploding in the first place. I need to find ways to forcefully rotate the enemies, I think. But it's also worth noting that we have less uh, less bleed activation now. So yeah, I don't know what to do with these yet. When attacked. So it's not on damage, it's on attack as well. On getting attacked. Avarice, 30 gold, revives on equip, revives and or fully heals the whole team. On equip, gains between 0 and 8 strength at random. Wait, it said it said it went up by 3. Rip, I'm just making sure. 
It said it went up by three. But it went up by two, didn't it? Wasn't I at 14? Was I at 13? I thought I was at 14. Either way, uh, medium, medium luck. Slightly below average. So this is the uh, apply poison equal to the damage taken guy who is, for obvious reasons, going to be a little bit scary for me. Half, yeah, half. I'll just one-shot him. How about that? Okay. So we do have kind of like a, a damage buffing engine. Health up. You're going to be taking lots of the um, lots of the hits, and we're, we're going to be subbing out the other one, probably. We'll check the scroll master. Oh, we know you. You're really good. Like, I really like this guy, but we also literally just used him. So, no thank you. We'll free out the options of going to the chest, but we will try as hard as I can to uh, avoid using them immediately. Exit lead attack up to three times. We would ideally like to to stop that. Here comes a spin. Let's go for probably just another spin, right? which spins you up to the front. Good deal. So basically, we have a situation that's pretty dang good. It's basically, if we can take a little bit of damage, we can get this fight over, like, incredibly fast. All right, this unlocks three options. I'm going to save a chest. I'm going to greed a little bit here. So here's going to be a whopping Oh yeah, there's the 11 bleed. Okay, then we're going to go for another rotate here. Yeah. So it's a lot of damage, but we can we can handle it. 20, you got up to 27, 29. I mean, I know why. Flicked amount of bleed equal to the leader's uh, strength. But we're in, like, speedrun territory. I don't know who to uh, add to. Probably you, if I were to take a guess. Strength. Passive plus one strength. On attack, inflict three bleed. Eh. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big get. We'll check the shop. We got 46 bucks. On activation, deal one damage to a random opponent. Three error eight times. Wow. Passive force strength. Okay. I found, I found a use for it. I've definitely, I've found a use for it. This is finally the guy, the day. I will forget to change that. Because that helps me uh, apply more. We have 21 starting strength. Probably end up going for that. All right, let's take one, uh, we'll take one chest. Go for another fight here. Ah, hello, friend. Okay. We could have even done another energy blast. I just wanted to fight, finish the fight as fast as possible. It seemed funny. I think I got a good amount of damage. Passive. If in the lead, the, a player's die has a small chance of not disappearing. It is good. Leader gains focus, making it so they do 100% more damage for an attack.
There's a world. Uh, battle end, two intelligence forever. self inflict three poison. When battle ends, fully heals the full team. Seems really, really good. self inflict taunt. And then we get 20 gold, though. I'll, I'll take it. I'm willing to run this for a fight. See what's up. We got that chest up there to heal. Ooh, you're new too. Ally hurt, deal one damage to a random opponent. Oh, I don't intend to hurt the ally. Thank you, though. Well, maybe I will. The heal thing could have been nice, but I think we're going to be fine anyways, and we can greet and get this extra uh, 20 bucks, which I think we can use for even more silly strength. Does this count as a... It won't count as a boss. Surely not. Surely not. Dice Smith, we're probably in the market for grabbing a new die. Um... These are all... All my faces are used, so I'm in the market for a new die. Let's give it a shot. Free rotate. I don't particularly care. Reroll an unused die times two is not bad. Ooh, we have the, the crown, which lets you... The, the best use case for it today is probably to rotate the enemy team how you want. I'll go for two rerolls. I'm on the fence about that over um, over the ranged attack. I might get that too, to be honest. We do have this. I'm I'm stressed about the option of um, of eating in case we increase the damage. It it won't matter that much, but I just I do want to avoid it. All right. Cool. Here we go. We have a weird scenario here. I don't like really want to attack you yet. Okay, there we go. Alright. Please, please, please. Perfect. We can do that and then rotate into the front. We only get one gold. That's the, uh, the penalty there. The double dice usage thing is just so nuts. Thank you. So good for this guy. So we don't even have to worry about the two damage on turns like that. On spawn, plus one max HP forever. Uh, I'll put that on you for now. Mirror is very good as well. Dupe the next action. Or dupe the last action. We saved up the heal. It is a single target, unfortunately. It makes more sense to leave leave this on you. But yeah, I am going to be subbing you out. We have 40 bucks? When did that happen? What was here again? Temporary die, activation, deal one damage, two random bonus, eight times. Eh. Eh. This is really good. But it's also really temporary. I mean, the thing is, I, I got a lot of money. I don't have the ability to buy another die, so I'd be replacing dice faces that I already have stuff on. Of which I'm sure there's something I could do. But I think with 40 bucks and, like, a really temper... Like, an overpowered but temperamental build 
let's get the enemy rotation token to kind of guarantee they explode, right? Carappa the Rapper? Crapper? Seems that there's a lot of Jabberogas on the way here, but why is, but is that a bad thing? When attacked, once per turn, gains guard. When KO'd, does damage equal to his strength to all allies. Woo! I understand. You like the rotate? Boy, do I have a treat for you. We are going to put you down in the, a lot of danger already, though, is the problem. It's a turn one kill. That's a turn one kill. <laughs> Goodbye, Crapper the Rapper. Enter lead plus three strength for the rest of the turn. Once per battle after receiving a debuff, self purify. On attack, if the attack kills, gain focus. That seems pretty good. I didn't even put on the Wyvern Buster. But honestly, how much of the damage came from my attacks and how much came from. Ooh, new zone just dropped. We have not, uh, we've not been here before, have we? Just a bunch of money. What is the wandering here again? Ah. Wait, this is the guy that I gave a piece of equipment to, isn't it? A lot of the self damage. Look at that, twenty-one bucks. The self damage is not considered as uh, attacks. To be clear, it's not an attack. We are just. Here's the thing. Whoever I find, it's got to be pretty good. Because this is kind of a huge part of this. I mean, the ally hurt. We're not even utilizing this yet. That's the thing. So it's got to be pretty good. If we get the on attack, then attack them or whatever, I think we could, uh, we could really pop off of course but on spawn grant sneaky to an ally receives no damage from attacks oh i don't intend to attack do this so we can maybe get the power up yep Force another spin. Lol. Lol, 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 We do the 10 bleed anyways, and another enemy rotation token. Oh, you're too kind. You're too kind. We have two chimeras down here. All right. Need a bang in on hurt. Attack if target is an ally. Gains its strength for the rest of battle. There's something dumb there. There's something really dumb there. I guess I never realized you could even attack your own allies, but I guess now, yeah. Because you could just go there and you can go boop, chomp. And then we could maybe give you guard and possibly get you up to like... It's a really cool idea. My my thing is, we need an unhurt. Like, it's just not good enough otherwise. When attacked, once per turn, inflicts eight confusion. When attacked. Attacked is the key word. It is not on damage. And therefore, we would rather keep the doloid. Which is really odd here today. But it's just true. 
So this is kind of a fun combo. You could get Tra Tragalmar and then attack your Tormentine. And the confusion goes on the opponent, uh, uh, opponent, opposing leader. The penalty of what I'm doing right here is that we are trashing our free chests and thus healing options, but I'll leave the campfire as a uh, way to do that. This guy is metal as hell. When KO and inflict frozen on all opponents, on attack, inflicts blind on the target. Okay, so the bleed went into the back. So we can get two rotates off by forcing a leader swap. Damage to the back line, and then he switches back to the front, takes it again. Passive grant a small chance of dealing 100% damage when attacking. It's appealing. Does this matter? I don't think so. I don't know how much that's done anything. Can I go again? I don't know, man. On spawn. I don't know if it works. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out on the order of operation for that. It's really risky to, to move forward. I'm going to get another die. Reroll all unused die. Another energy blast is supreme. Random rotation taunt. It's a pretty meh die for us. Oh, I, I will go for that, though. All right, do we have a... Did we get, like, a berry bush or something unlocked? No. The last chimera... Feels like a animated VHS movie. Specifically had to be on VHS. Good morning. This rerolls all the other dice. We can try and find eh, okay. I mean, they're going to take the bleed. Cool. So, it's just like two damage. Lightly heal the one of your choice. I'll go for you. Which I... Because I might keep you. This is the rare time where, like, genuinely it might be the best call to leave you. Unless we get a banger. On ally hurt, deal four damage to random opponents. I think that's better. <laughs> I think that is better. Um, oh, you're right. Tricky. What do I get rid of? I guess I'm not going to probably do that just because it's a really low percentage chance. We get the activation. Uh, Sure, we might as well go for the extra activation. Sure. All right, the big thing there is the huge boost to the health pool. 34 HP is just so much better. Uh, we'll unlock the all the other options in a second, but first let's go for the rerolls. Get rid of that, and then honestly, I think I'd take it over the, uh, the randos, which is actually kind of funny because this is already a Jester die, so it's already going to reroll all. But here's the thing... I don't want to swap that guy out of the front. I want him to be the lead, and I don't really... I don't ever want to swap. Mur Murma Elk? Wait, it also rerolls their unused dice. On spawn gain sneaky. 
if its allies are alive. Well, let's just fix that real quick, why don't we? Welcome to the front line, sucker. But yeah, this combo, if I got like a... We have a good contingency plan. Exit lead, the new leader attacks. It's actually quite good. If I ever swapped, it'd be really good. Uh, bup, 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 bup. I actually think that's fine. We'll, we'll humor the scroll master, but I... Oh, it's target dog. Spell, target an ally, and it becomes the leader. That's really good for not this build. If it was target an enemy, and I don't know. Intelligence for you, strength for you. Let's get our options, right? So you do a lot of damage, but it's also 13 damage to a random opponent whenever an ally is hurt. It's pretty good. What's happening? When an ally attacks, if not in the lead, it attacks the same target. Oh, that's right. You are a whole son of a gun. We have Sneaky, so we do need to snipe you, probably. So, yeah. Makes sense. We don't get the leader swap as a result. The, the Sneaky actually messes us up pretty bad. Love to see it. For that, it's really good for the final turn. When, when it's a mono a mono, we don't get a whole lot of value. Well, I was gonna say that's actually not true anymore because now it's not bleed, it is now just damage. Passive gain eight max HP. When attacked once per battle, deal damage equal to the attacker's strength to all opponents is huge. Once battle deals damage equal to the attacker's strength. The attacker's strength. No. Okay, we are out of fights after the elite. That's right. We've got ourselves the old elite, and then we're good to go. It's a little bit scary. So. Hmm. Do we push it? I think we push it. I think we push it. We can't fire after. Turn start if KO'd revives and heals 50% of its max HP. I mean, okay. It does require you to be alive. Like, requires requires some of them to be alive. I'd imagine if they're all dead, we just win, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, activation grants force strength to the ally leader for the rest of the turn. Another energy brat is incredible. 
Um, I'll hit you with a probably replacement on a reckless attack. Would have liked some healing, but that's what the bonfire's for, yeah? We don't get this. Which means, I, I mean, hey, which is, I'm glad you made us go check uh, for the Wyvern Buster. So we do 50% more damage to that sucker. Uh, what do I spend my money on, man? Once per turn, if not in the lead, do a revive. I mean, I don't really need that. This is not bad. Like, if I go for an activation anyways, like, I, I'm sure? It's not bad at all. I'm already, you're my activation sucker. Like, we could do that. We could even find a way to sneak on the relay button here. Like, it'd probably be, I guess, probably the wired bat, huh? Silky Shroud. I mean, I... Okay. That's a really good uh, dice dicelet. Sure, let's play around with it. You're probably not going to be in the front. Sure. works for me so we are good to go i'll just do my due diligence and double check the last thing here make sure we're not going to be doing anything which i didn't think we were uh burning token it has to be attack damage it can't be all damage all right boys all right boys i doubt you have a chance that crabuccino no oh my god On turn one, we get this. It's so good. Okay. Thirty-seven bleed on turn end. Gain one strength for the rest of battle. Okay, buddy. So we're going to have to do, start doing some rotating. Because these guys are going to die soon. Turn one kill. Next, we actually might have to fight something. The door is going to theoretically open. On spawn, if not in the lead, 10 strength for the rest of the turn. On spawn, strongly healed. Grant focus on its opponent. Turn and heal its allies for one. You know what? Yeah, that's something. That's something. I mean, how often am I, am I really going to be doing anything with it? It makes the most sense on you because you're the one doing the damage, but like, eh. We might go beyond the door now. I don't know. We've got them all. All right. Here's my concern. It's not a full zone, is it? Okay. Good. This is a normal battle. Let's save the bonfire. These are just normal guys? You're out of your dang mind. I didn't even end up using the player dice slit, though, so that's good. Uh, Ally KO'd for strength for the rest of the battle. Turn end. Self-inflict 100 damage. Oh, you are just like a... A little weirdo. Sure. 
charge. Leader gains one intelligence forever. I kind of want it to be... Well, whatever. Let's see what we can do. We can take 101 damage. Maybe we start attacking you, as weird as it is. Since you have so much, we kind of need to just get things moving. I'll give you a taunt. You have to attack the front line. Okay. I wanted to know what it was. You're gonna get the guard, right? Yep. Oh, that's right. We have to do these. Ha ha! 101 damage to yourself, idiot! Uh, okay. Okay, I think we go for that. We get the nice, clean damage blast there. Uh, speaking of, we can go for, like, an energy blast, energy blast. It's good, but weird. It is kind of just like a, we have to sort of wait for a long time. I'd rather take the eight, obviously. Gotta be careful. This is such a problem. I don't want to rotate right. If I, I mean, there's a chance we get a nothing. Okay. Again, it's a little weird. Just trying to proc some extra bleeds. I'd rather take the eight. All right, we just have to we just have to live a couple turns, and it is a it's a big if, you know. In a sort of weird way. Can always end turn token. Oh, we got lucky. We got so lucky there. Not a strong reason to attack. Kind of just want to fish for the shield. Good. Had to be the energy shock, huh? Wow, you really just don't care, huh? Okay, so I might have to use my thing. Um... What are we looking for? A rotate? What, do we care about a rotate? We could also... We could just end turn. Okay, which we can't end turn yet. Cool. So that's a that was a weird one for us. I, that that was bad. That could have been a that could have been an energy shock or whatever the hell. 
That's right. That's right. I put somebody else in the lead. It ha it could happen. All right, that was um that was tough for me. Leader gains one intelligence forever. No, I'm gonna use it on accident. I know it. I don't particularly care. Wyvern Buster was useless there. Is there something that's not gonna be useless? I mean, if I swap. If I swap to you and then swap to like back to Griffinbur or Failrod, it's it's not bad. Go for the big old rest. Which nobody nobody's uh missing any health, right? Yep, okay. So Knight Scimitar makes no sense. Boy oh boy. Ooh, there's parts that can rotate. That's good news. Inflict a random debuff on the opposing leader or gain a random buff. Already a little bit spooky. I think we do a couple. Do we do a couple energy blasts or not? We kind of like these existing. We like these existing. I don't know what a lot of those other ones are. Eight thorns is not good. Do lose that damage for the fight now, but okay, good. Oh, the thorns. That's right. The thorns are really gonna be the death of us, though. If anything, uh, a shield is interesting for sure. For sure. Not optimal. Not optimal at all. Spread the bleed. 90 damage to allies. Like, it's very good. But it does come with a little bit of weirdness. Okay. So much strength. Do I want you to attack right now? Not really. You're incapacitated. I could... I could move you. Um... Could be good to go to you, but... I'm with it. We'll go for some trades here. Some damage out. It's a good amount of damage, but... Can't deny it's a little scary. Because we get the thorns back. You have to give him the shield. Remove all the leader's debuffs. I gotta be honest. The bleed doesn't matter anymore. Reroll all is just good. Entangle can be good. Uh, rotate left. Sure. I don't know that it's that worth it for you to be the one to attack anymore is the problem, but this guy just has the, uh, the thorn problem. Music is going. Perfect. Ideal, ideal, ideal. Oh, 
Only down to five thorns now. We, we go for the guard so that we can copy the guard. And then I think we just chill. We're just buying... We're, yeah, we're buying time until we can get as many of those as possible. Okay. This is either blast or shield, so it's like a good one. Either way there. Activate. So there's four thorns. So we actually can do this. Good deal. Not even close, baby. Not even close. Thank you. Thank you for the freebie. Yeah, in a long drawn out fight with no rotations, we obviously aren't quite as good. <laughs> but there we go. We have now unlocked Sword trial mode. Salem didn't immediately impact our lives like I was hoping for. However, as seasons went and came, the power of chimeras dried up. Humans were given their land back, but... Lady Ilya. We have to go. They're on to us. The scars that Salem left are ours to treat. Well, all right. Uh, push your limits for the final test. You can start new talisman. I was wrong. It's not the last talisman. Shadow chest has appeared. New enemies can appear in the... Okay. In that biome. Gotta get a good amount of levels. Crample! Mothless. Oh my god. Alright. Is that just a... That's just a bag of... Loot? With a sword and shield? I want that. Uh, really fun run. I love that. I love the pain faction for sure. Ah, but they've course, but they've course. There is... The mark for an actual Salem store run. Gotcha, gotcha. Chaos. So is chaos just in everything? No. Not quite. But it does have the first boss as an unlock. Because that little goblin guy is not in anything else, right? No. Huh. Make Salem's most loyal chimeras follow my lead. So this is like you get to play as all of the enemies. Which sometimes you can do anyways. Like some of these, wherever they were, some of these characters in these other factions were enemies as well. Like they can be, like this guy can definitely be an enemy. This guy can definitely be an enemy. Uh, this guy can definitely be an enemy. You know, that, that, that kind of thing. But I guess this is the ones that are normally too stubborn. That's kind of fun. You get to play with them yourself. Well, all right. Uh, we're definitely going to check that out. But I'm curious. So we can't do trial mode with this. What is this? Yeah. What? Enemies have an additional die, but you can reroll all dice once per turn. Oh. Oh. Interesting. So we get... We get a little extra benefit. I, I like that. I dig that. If you're going to do an ascension system, I enjoy that. Why it goes up to specifically 11? Very funny. But, hey. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Dice Folk. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more.
every single day. Be sad to see the series go. You gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.